Now, now, one other bit of evidence that Christians tried to tell me in my investigation, they said, well, you know, another thing, Lee, you need to believe what the disciples were saying about Jesus because they were willing to die horrific deaths without ever disavowing their claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who proved it by raising from the dead. And I said, that's not evidence. Give me a break. I mean, there have been religious martyrs throughout history who have been willing to die for their faith, right? September 11th, hello? What about that? What Question, <laughs> why were those terrorists willing to die that way? It was obvious. They were willing to die that way because they sincerely believed with all of their heart that if they died in that manner, they would instantly go to heaven to be with their God. They believed it sincerely. And believing it, they were willing to die for their faith. So I tell these people, don't tell me that the fact that the disciples were willing to die for their faith means anything. And I'll never forget, the guy looked at me and said, no, Lee, you're missing the point. You're missing the difference between what the disciples did and, for instance, what, put in modern terms, what those terrorists did. I said, well, what's the difference? And this is what he told me. This is so powerful. He said, Lee, people will die for their religious beliefs if they sincerely believe their beliefs are true, right? I said, that's right. He said, but people will not die for their religious beliefs if they know their beliefs are false, right? I said, well, that's true. Nobody's going to die for a lie. I said, okay, then follow me on this. All of, his, all of Christianity hinges on the resurrection of Jesus. If he, if he came back from the dead, he is authenticating and proving his claim to being the Son of God. Everything hinges on that. The disciples in all of history were in a unique position they didn't just believe sincerely that Jesus returned from the dead. They were in a position to know for a fact. They touched him. They ate with him. They talked with him. They knew this wasn't a trick or hallucination. They knew the truth. And knowing the truth, they were willing to die for it. You see the difference? The fact that those terrorists were willing to die for it says nothing about the truth of Islam, does it? It just means they sincerely believe whatever it proclaims or whatever they interpret it as being. The disciples didn't just believe Jesus returned from the dead and thus proved he's the Son of God. They knew it for a fact. And knowing it for a fact, they were willing to die for it. Do you see the difference? I looked all throughout history. I couldn't find one example of anybody anywhere who knowingly and willingly died for a lie. And I said, the disciples knew whether Jesus came back or whether he didn't. They didn't just believe it. They knew it. And knowing it, they were willing to die for it. Therefore, their action, their willingness to die for it, says something to us about the truth of the resurrection. Unlike somebody who just believes something and has no personal evidence one way or the other for it. And I said, you know, that is a powerful bit of corroboration about the truth of Christianity.